So, for some reason, Yuzaki-chan has been getting a lot of attention. And I cannot imagine why. Sure, I mean, it's a slow season, but this is like a slice of life, comedy, maybe a romance. The most unremarkable genres it can be. Well, I guess there are a couple features that stand out. Two of them, to be precise. And those two features are the humor and the idea of a loner being pulled out of a shell. What, you thought I was going to talk about how Uzaki-chan has a disproportionate body? Yeah, there's much more going on here than that. And I'll be honest here, I didn't care for this anime. And the reason I don't care for it is the reason I don't care for a lot of anime comedies. And that's because the characters are super annoying. Well, mainly Uzaki-chan, though the main guy is super dull, and I don't even remember his name. Oh yeah, Sakurai, had to go look that up. I don't know if they even actually said his name out loud. So, back to Uzaki-chan herself, though. It feels like the only point of her character is to annoy Sakurai until she gets him to agree to take her wherever it is they're going. And then she makes fun of him a ton in the process, which makes her completely unlikable. Like, here's the thing. I am a bit of a loner. I make anime videos on YouTube. That should be obvious. But yes, I'm a loner. I like spending time by myself. If a girl kept trying to get me to do stuff like that by making fun of me for being alone, not being grateful when I do kind things for her, why would I ever want to have anything to do with her? And sure, it ties back to the themes of the episode, how despite not being an ideal time, they both enjoy their time together. I get that. I feel the same way with friends and like we plan something. It goes horribly wrong, but we have fun together and that's what matters. And in the end, he's sort of grateful for her for that, for pulling him out of his comfort zone. And I do appreciate that theme. I relate to it. But here's the thing. If a friend invited me to hang out, to do something I probably want to do on my own, I might say yes. They might encourage me saying, hey, I think you'll enjoy this. You should do this. It'll be fun. Then sure. But if they made fun of me by being alone, seeing that my plan to play video games is just something a lame loner would do, why would I want to listen to them? Why would I want to spend any time with them? Real friends don't make fun of you for being a loner. They pull you out of that shell. They encourage you. But because this is anime, the only way a character can bring a loner out of their shell is to annoy them until they give in. And it makes the characters that do so completely unlikable. And here's the thing for me. With anime, the most important thing for a show to do early on is to give me likable characters. I don't need a super complicated story. I don't need flashy visuals. Just give me someone I can root for, and then you can draw me into the show and tell me a great story from there. And with this show, though, Uzaki-chan is annoying, Sakurai is bland, where's the appeal? What reason do I have to want to watch more? And yes, again, the idea is good. I want to see him go make friends and all that. I appreciate it. And some of the things that he said, how like he was grateful, how he saw the good with Uzaki chancing, like she has her moments of really being a good person, a fun character. But these are a very small part of the episode. And so those times where I could see him and be like, okay, I kind of get this. Sure, I'll, I'm invested. And then she does something really annoying again, and there, bam, that's gone. The comedy was also pretty bad. Many of the jokes involve her saying something perverted, though not meaning to. Typically at Sakurai's expense, which is basically just lowbrow humor. And I admit, I can like lowbrow humor. Give me something with lots of profanity, I will laugh at it. But it just feels lazy here. And the humor always comes at Sakurai's expense, which doesn't feel right because he has done nothing to deserve it. Like, there's a virtual reality game, and then he accidentally grabbed her boob, which was very obvious and telegraphed, and then he's the pervert for accidentally grabbing it when he's playing a virtual reality game and has no idea, like, she is in front of him like that. So, yeah. Some of the scenes reminded me of that one in Konosuba, when Megami was basically trying to blackmail Kazuma and letting her join the group, and she was saying these things like, oh, you maybe do this thing with a slime and all that, and basically to shut her up, he agreed. That one was really funny, because the humor was coming at Kazuma's expense, and Kazuma deserved it, because, like, Kazuma is not a good person. That's, like, how all the humor in Konosuba works. It all comes at Kazuma's expense, but he brings pretty much all of it on himself, so it makes sense and feels good. Yeah, I want a season three of Konosuba. Not Uzaki-chan, though. Personally, if I rated this, I would probably give it, like, around a three out of ten, or a 1.5 out of 5 stars if you use that scale. Yes, I did go there. Though, to be fair, if people like the show, go on. I'm not telling you you can't like it. But I cannot say it's for me, though. Oh well. Not my first time disliking a popular anime. 
though I do need to get back to that Demon Slayer review. So, thank you for watching. Let me know what you thought of Izaki-chan. If you liked it, if you didn't, let me know if there's anything else from the season I should check out, and I will talk to you all next time.